Hi, Scorpio. So the reading is intended for Scorpio Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Um, we're going to take a look at the energies, the emotional and mental energies here of yourself and your romantic interests, okay? And basically, we're going to take a look as to whether or not this connection is over for good, okay? Um, as always, guys, uh, you do know the spiel by now. It is going to be a general tarot reading and it won't resonate with every Scorpio out there watching. So please take what resonates with you, Scorpio, and just cast aside what doesn't. Or perhaps you may be interested in a personal tarot reading. To do so, please feel free to inquire. I am going to list my email address for you all at the bottom of the video here where the show more section is along with all the different types of readings that I offer. So we're going to go ahead and take a look uh, here, give the cards a quick shuffle here, Scorpio. And uh, we're going to take a look and see as to whether or not this connection is really over for good here. Okay, we'll see what messages are coming through here. And we'll see what um, what, energy, what the energies are saying as well. Okay, is there still hope for this connection? Or um, are the two of you done for good? Okay. Oops. Okay, so at the top you do have the Six of Cups here, and then we have the Devil. Okay, followed by Death card. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. The Wheel of Fortune. The Ten of Swords. The Four of Swords. The Nine of Wands. And the Ace of Cups. Okay, we'll just take a look at that and we are crooked, bear with me. Okay, that's better. All right, now let's take a look at your cards here. Is it over? Um, yeah. It is over. It is over, I think. I think, right? Um, it's a connection here that ended on a painful note from what I can see. It's a connection here that was um, that was either toxic to your general um, health and well-being or there was a lot of toxicity surrounding this person, and I feel like they um, they brought this um, element of toxicity to this connection here, okay? Because, you know, whatever uh, a person doesn't heal from, it's like a poison. Uh, it enters and then spreads, um, you know, it enters their vein and just spreads throughout them. So I feel like your person might have indulged excessively in some sort of toxic substance here, and as a result, you know, they may have... Um, they may not necessarily have treated you kindly or with respect here. This person might have been emotionally, mentally, or even physically abusive. Um, um, outside of that, and it doesn't necessarily mean that they had to, in, uh, that they, you know, they had to or they did indulge in a toxic substance. There was something key that was toxic about this connection. Okay, there was something key. I feel like this person didn't treat you with the respect that you deserve here, Scorpio. And I also feel like this person, they just weren't good for you. They just weren't good for you. Um, is what I'm seeing. Okay, um, they've betrayed you, didn't they? They were the ones to hurt you here with the Ten of Swords. I feel like they were the ones to have hurt you, um, perhaps cheated on you. They were the ones to, um, maybe they were unfaithful during the duration of your connection here. Okay, so with the Death card and the Ten of Swords here, and even with the Ace of Cups, if I, you know, if I read the cards, um, vertical i feel like yeah a connection here was flatlining or has flatlined um it evoked you know this the fact that it was coming to an end or the fact that it is coming to an end here scorpio i can see that it's evoked quite a um a very strong and a very overwhelming emotional response in you from what i can see but um i feel like you know you've tried scorpio you've given this your all a part of you i feel like you guys are either not talking right now you have ended things but i feel like a part of you is still you're still holding on to this person i feel like a part of you is still like this is you with the ace of cups you've got a lot of love okay you've, in fact your chalice is overflowing and i'm seeing that you're wanting to flow a lot of love towards this person but with the queen of pentacles in reverse here i don't feel like this person was nurturing this connection at least not in the way that you would have hoped for okay and i also feel like with the devil and the wheel of fortune here and with the nine of uh, wands um it lacked direction from what i can see it was a connection that went um you know it spun around in circles but it really went nowhere it was it lacked emotional fulfillment it lacked it was mediocre can i say that <laughs> and i feel like it lacked direction here honestly this person wasn't on your um wasn't on 
like you guys weren't in tune to each other's emotional frequency. I just feel like you guys were um, very out of tune with each other from what I'm seeing here. Okay, and I feel like Yeah, I feel like Scorpio, what you need now, you definitely need time apart from this uh, from this individual. I feel like if, even if a part of you maybe wants to revive this connection or if a part of you wants to revisit this connection, uh, goodness, I just feel like the, your, what will work wonders for you now is some distance and some silence between the two of you. Because what's that going, what that is going to do for you is... Um, it's got, well, first and foremost, it's going to work wonders because I feel like it's going to allow you to see things. Um, it's going to allow you to see things differently here. I feel like it's going to illuminate here. I'm getting illumination here. I feel like it's going to illuminate what the two of you really have because there is the difference between romanticizing what someone could be and romanticizing what a connection could be and then actually looking at it realistically, you know, realistically looking at what the situation is. Not for what it could be because what it could be is something very different. I feel like, yes, this connection could be wonderful and you know um, it could be amazing and the two of you could be in love and it could work but I feel like you've tried and time, time and time and time again you've tried and it just hasn't manifested you know it's just going around in circles um in saying that though having said that Scorpio I do feel like there was a lesson here there was a lesson to be learned and I feel like yeah okay this person might have hurt you and this person might have pained you um and you know they might have um ended things quite uh, painfully for you here but I feel like there was there was a lesson here um, Scorpio there was a lesson in it for you okay um, so and I also feel like aside from the bad times that you did share some memorable times with them right otherwise why had you know why would you have stayed in this connection for so long why would you have you know um, fall in love with this person so outside of that you know they're not the devil themselves right they still have some great qualities and I feel like you still shared some um, wonderful memories. Otherwise, why would you have, um, you know, entertained being um, in a relationship with this person? So look, I feel like this is a lesson. A lesson, sorry. Some people are a blessing, or some people are a lesson. And this person here is a uh, is a lesson from what I'm seeing. Um, you know what? I feel like Scorpio, either yourself here or your special uh, or your romantic interest here, is going to want to reach out. I feel like with the Six of Cups here and the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Swords and you know death, that whole you know ending being a new beginning. I feel like the two of you might want to revisit this connection. But if that's the case, I'm not saying don't go for it. But if that's the case, I feel like you guys will have to do it very differently because what you, you've tried, what you've tried, right? And it didn't work. So I feel like you guys are going to have to take a whole different approach. Okay. Um, like I said, with the four of swords, you need, you need to take time. You need to step away from this connection because I feel like it's going to give you a fresh perspective and I feel like it's going to illuminate maybe, you know, how if you want to make this work how the two of you could make this work but for the most part i feel like i feel like it is over i feel like the you know a connection here is has flatlined or is flat flatlining and it is over um but in saying that you know there's always part two right and there's always second chances so if some of you are willing to go down that road you're, you know you do have free will and you know despite what the reading says you are free to choose um your decisions okay you're free to act as you wish um but i just feel like if that's the case if you do decide to go down that road just do things differently okay do things differently um and don't be so self-sacrificing here like relationships are a two-way street here okay it's not you know it takes it takes two people to make a relationship work, okay? It takes give and take approach here. Yeah? So don't be so, you know, self-sacrificing is what I'm seeing here. But um, all in all is what I'm seeing. A connection here has ended and it's probably for it's probably for the best here because I feel like this person here, I can I feel like this connection has been flatlining for quite some time now. And okay, and I feel like only recently has it ended here. Um and I feel like you you saw this. I feel like you saw this coming, Scorpio, right? You saw this coming. I don't think don't feel like it's something you could have avoided as well. Um, for some of you, honestly, by the by just by looking at the cards, I feel like you've dodged a bullet. I honestly feel like you've dodged a bullet is what I'm seeing. 
I also feel like Scorpio, you didn't really get a chance. You didn't really get a chance to fully know this person is what I'm seeing. I feel like they're, they're all like they had their walls up or they had their guard up. They had some sort of suspicions about this connection or suspicions about you. And I feel like, yeah, they just put them in a very bad, not a bad energy field, but I just feel like that type of energy has, um, is what stopped the connection here from flourishing as well. I just feel like you, you might have been two different people, honestly, by looking at this. You wanted it, they didn't. You've tried, they didn't try knowing you as hard. So look, I feel like it is over. The connection here is over. But I also feel like you understand that, Scorpio. You understand that it's over and it's probably in your best interest as well from what I'm seeing. Okay, guys, and that there is your spread. So as always, thank you for watching and listening, um, Scorpio. Um, please feel free to share your support by subscribing to this channel, by liking, commenting, and sharing. Or perhaps you may be interested in the um, tarot reading, in a personal tarot reading. Otherwise, do take care, Scorpio. Keep safe, and I will catch up with you later in the week.